Hey guys, welcome back to the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today, I want to go over some tips on how to make your map seem a bit more alive. Here's a commission I'm working on right now, and uh, I kind of have a good base blueprint out for it, but it's definitely not done, and there's definitely a few things that could help it seem more alive and just more fun for players to have and enjoy the map. So, my first one would have to be, and I know we covered this last video, but Roblox Grass. This is the easiest thing you can add that will move without being scripted. A lot of people were asking me on Discord, hey man, how do I do this if there is parts above, such as roads or paths, that I don't want to have grass on? So I'm going to show you guys that in this video, but the first things we're going to do is grab the base plate right here, which I need to unlock. Just like that, we're gonna go ahead and grab this and make it a little bit smaller because it's probably still thick like a normal base plate. Uh, yeah, let's let's make that nice and small. We're gonna duplicate the base plate just like this and move it down under, we'll say about this much. I don't know exactly how many studs it is for grass. I wanna say it's two studs. So we're gonna go ahead and just give that a quick little test by setting our move to two studs and then, oh my gosh and then moving that down. I don't think that's far enough, but we'll, we'll move it down one more. <laughs> Why not? We're gonna go to our part two terrain and make this grass right there, perfect. Then we're gonna go to our terrain editor, add decoration, nice. Now, we definitely made that way too far down, so I'm gonna grab this whole map and just shift it down a little bit. Just dragged over everything to highlight it, and I'm gonna bring this down until we start seeing some grass. There we go, that's a bit too far. I should change this back to like 0.5 as well, or 0.25. And I want this just like, we don't wanna see this grass. We're still going for a very low poly aesthetic, so we're gonna go just like this. Now, as you can see, hey bro, we have grass on our sidewalks, our roads, on this, like, you don't want grass on all of that stuff. So to fix that, you're gonna wanna open up your terrain editor right here, click on edit, and then paint. This will be the easiest way, and we're just gonna paint this a whole different thing. Probably go with, like, dirt? Or we'll just go with leafy grass, I believe. Yeah, that does it. So if you go with leafy grass, that'll do it. And then you just wanna kinda paint over everything you have that you don't want grass on okay and you could take your time on this and make it super precise but for this tutorial purpose i'm not going to do the uh the best job well i guess this is a commission too so I, i'll be back when i finish this and all right guys just like that we have all of the grass only where it needs to be and uh the roads are completely clear oh yeah i forgot about these all right, now we're all good. And no worries if you're thinking, bro, there's no grass over there. That's just a render distance. There is grass covering our whole map right now. And uh, this is not a thing to make it look more alive, but you already know, we gotta change this grass color. Probably to like a, just a lot brighter of a green, something more not, I mean, not, that's a bit excessive, okay? Something like, like this maybe would work. Let me see. Maybe a little bit darker. That's a kind of a neonish green. Something like that would be all right. So there's our first thing. Just add grass. This is adding a moving part to your game and it just makes things feel more alive if we're going back to our title. The next thing I would highly recommend is turning things neon. Like as you can see over here, I forgot this one. Ah. Uh, as you can see over here, neon, it just helps everything. It brings stuff together. I would definitely say don't overuse this by any means because, you know, neon, it can be a bit eyesoring. Uh, so we're going to fix up this last one and then change these buildings to neon and show you guys what I mean by that. And it'll help everything just look way better. All right, guys, so I've selected all of the parts that I want to make neon. I'm going to go up here to the material tab and just click on neon. Perfect. And as you can see right away, Everything is so much more bright and vibrant. If you want to make the neon not be as harsh on the eyes, you can always turn down the transparency of your part. Um, this is not a great trick with any other material, but neon, it works great. We're going to go about here at a 0.2 transparency. I think that looks pretty dang good. The next thing I would highly recommend, and this is a very easy thing to do, is particles, okay? Now, myself, I'm not the best at particles, so I will be using the toolbox for this scenario, but, like, these fences, we could have an electric particle on them. Alright guys, so I found this particle in the toolbox right here, lightning particle by Cookies, uh, I don't know their whole name. Alright, there we go, Cookies14876. That's the one I will be using for the fence. You want to go into the part? 
and copy your particles. This one has two. So we're going to copy these and then we're going to go into our fence part and paste into just like that. Now we're going to do that for all the fences. All right, we've selected all the fences while holding alt and control and clicking. We're going to go ahead and click on one paste into selected. This will go all of the parts that we have just like that. We have an electrical fence and we'll delete the original particle block. The next thing I would recommend, and we don't really have any way to show it on this particular map, but if you can add any moving things like windmills, water wheels, stuff like that, uh, maybe the little spinny things kids play with in the wind, anything that you can add that moves. And I know on this channel, like I'm not a scripter either, but if you just look up rotate script to Roblox, uh, it's a pretty simple thing you could copy and paste, change the speed. It's very simple to do. So I would highly recommend that if you have maybe a farm map, you can add windmills, a water map, you know, the water wheels, stuff like that. Just make sure you have as many moving parts as possible. It just helps the game feel more complete, I guess would be another word than alive because you might be tired of me saying that. Now, on this channel and with me building, I mainly work on simulators, and a lot of times people are like, hey dude, the map seems a bit empty, uh, lackluster to say the least, and one thing I can recommend, and this does have some scripting needed, but obtainable objects like coins and gems floating around your map, those can bob up and down and rotate and spawn randomly within like wherever you want them to spawn. Of course, this would be a scripter's job, but it is a great way to make your map seem more done, alive, whatever you want to call it. So if you're working on a commission for somebody and they're like, hey man, this doesn't seem exactly like what I'm wanting. Maybe we need some more stuff. Simply tell them, maybe add some coins and gems around the map for players to pick up. Players love it. It makes the map look nice. All right, I think this is going to wrap up my tutorial on how to make your map seem a bit more alive. Just to sum it up, we added grass, we added particles, and we also added neon parts around the map. And if you have any objects that you can make spin or rotate in any way, uh, an obby would be another example of this. Maybe a spinner wheel that you have to jump over or something like that. But that is going to wrap up this one, guys. I hope you did enjoy and definitely enjoy the rest of your day. Later.